morning, everyone. So today is Sunday. Um, it's probably about 11 o'clock. We've been so lazy this morning and just sat with coffees in bed. But yeah, so now we're going to go to the gym and do a quick workout. Um, we've not had anything to eat yet. So after that, we're going to go to the market and then to New World, do all our food shopping, grocery shopping, and then come back, get food. And then later on tonight, we're going out for our friends leaving. Do we're just going to take you through the day. Um, and yeah, just take you shopping with us and everything else. So um, let's get the video started. How's your workout, Rust? Uh, solid for Sunday. What did you do? Just uh, some lifts. Gotta get strong. <laughs> I did some upper body and then I finished with some dead mills on the treadmill. Oh my god, if you've never done them, they're an absolute killer. I only did with 20 seconds on, 40 seconds off for 10 minutes. Literally dying. And my arms are shaking when I hold this, oh my god. So now we're just in the warehouse, we're looking for some bedding because it's been so cold in Wellington recently. We've had to wear like hats, I wore gloves to bed last night. So yeah, we're just going to go on the hunt and then, and then after that we are going to go to the market. So we'll see you then.
one thing that is so funny about New World is how precisely everything is stacked. I mean, look at that mound of kiwi fruit. <laughs> and not one is out of place. And they also have people up the aisles who their job is generally just to bring cans and things forward. Like, it's ridiculous. It's immaculate. It is definitely the most immaculate supermarket I've ever been in. So let's do some shopping! I'm talking about how New World's shelves are just crazy. Shop till you drop. Corn chips. This brand. Mm. Okay, so I'm just going to show you guys exactly what we bought at the shops and at the market. Um, so at the market we bought some sprouts, a bag of sprouts. We bought um, these four avocados, they were 99 cent each. Um, a bag of sweet potato for $2.50. Um, I also bought just four bananas um, because we are moving out so I don't want to buy loads and I've got some left over and um, we also from the market bought four broccoli heads, um, a cabbage, two bags of spinach and this mango. So that was what we got from the market and then from New World we got, I got two bags of tofu, um, Rust bought this um, hummus, it's like a pumpkin and kumara Lisa's, it's so good, it's really nice. Bought that, bought mustard, because I'm obsessed with mustard and literally put it on everything. Like, you name it, I put mustard on it. We then got, Rustin got some of this Bergen whole meal seeds bread. It's really nice bread. Um, and he also got his beloved jalapeno corn chips, which he is obsessed with. And we also got um, oh, he got some chicken too, which is in the fridge. How many kilos? Uh, two and a half, maybe. Two and a half kilos of chicken breasts. And then we also he also got some Indian style lentils. So he got three tins of those, and I got three tins of the, whoops, the black beans. So three tins of those. And then also the most exciting thing we bought are, from the market, we bought these yams, they're called. They look... Yeah. They look like wee worms. I don't actually know what they are, but we thought we were going to try them. Um, so if anyone's ever had yams before, then let us know how you eat them, because I think we're going to need to Google that, because I'll actually... Do you eat them raw? Are they like carrots? Do you bake them? Who knows? Um, so yeah, that's all we got. Oh, and I also bought some... Oh, just in here. So let's get it in my bag. Totally forgot. So we also bought some things that, um, so I need the deodorant, so just some deodorant there. Um, I also needed some moisturiser because my skin's been getting really dry because it's winter and I haven't got any. So I just bought this, um, just the Pal Palmer's cocoa butter, bought that. And we also needed um, some washing powder, like laundry powder. So bought that, the Eco Store one. Got that, and then we also got this for because we're just needing to clean the flat even more, just so um, for our landlord basically. So we got this sugar soap wall and surface cleaner. So hopefully that does the trick. And yeah, so I'm pretty sure all of this at the market we spent about twenty four dollars, and then at New World we spent it was eighty two dollars. So that together c comes to... Can't you figure that out? Give me a second, I'm really... $106. $106, that's it, I knew that. Oh, yeah. I knew that. So yep, $106, um, usually as well when we go shopping, we do buy stuff like we've got rice and like peanut butter, coffee, tea, but you don't need to buy that every week. So, sorry. So it usually does, oh, and oats as well have lots of porridge, so... But usually it does work out of being about $100 to $150 a week on food. And that's literally what we'll eat all week. We won't like go out for lunch or 
go buy anything else during the week. We just make, buy a big food shop on a Sunday and that's just our meals for the whole week. It saves so much money. Like I know some people like for lunch they'll go out and buy like sushi every day or I don't know. I think just sushi every day or sandwiches every day and it just adds up and adds up. So this is the easiest way that we find and we always make sure to go to the market because it's so cheap when yeah, like usually we, we still eat out a couple times a week oh yeah yeah i'm sure we go out for dinner or something but at, that's at the weekend so basically monday to friday we eat all this food and at the weekend we will like, treat ourselves and go for brunch i think tonight we're going to go for dinner we're going to go to this um, vegetarian and vegan restaurant it's called auntie mina's so then we're going to go there tonight after we've met up with our friends so yeah it's all about that balance same for the weekend we're a bit more fresh faced after showering etc etc so now we're on our way to Mishmash, we are all, we're pretty much there like every weekend, it's like this um, bar, bar pub place um, on Courtney Place, just in pretty much the main kind of pub street of Wellington and we're going there to meet our, well your team leader and my friend from, from where we work, um, he's leaving, very sad but, well, he's technically leaving, he's going away to work, oh god, to get off the in the same company but just up in Hamilton which is just further up north and um, but he'll be back like most weekends so really it's just an excuse for just some catch up drinks. yeah it's pretty much Hey guys, um, we tried to go to Auntie Mina's but we couldn't shut. Uh, it's a bit of a downer, but we found this other place called uh, Roy. Um, it does Thai food like curries and noodles. Um, it's nice. So we're just going to get some dinner and some food. Rusty Roo, what did you get? I got uh, crispy pork on bok choy. So that's pork. Crispy. Looks good. And what's that? Nice. And I got some pad, vegetable pad thai um, with some extra veggies on the side because you need your greens. So yeah, that's what I got and we're bloody starving so we're going to dig into this, have a heavy munch. And we're home. Sure you've got the treasure map here. <laughs> what's this rat inside? You're a great man. <laughs> Super creep, still back to our home. And we're just gonna go back, go to bed. I've got my hot water bottle. Ah, stub my toe. Ow, I've got my hot water bottle. And we're just gonna make cups of tea and go to bed. So, hope you've enjoyed the vlog. Um, we've now got our Snapchat. It's time to dot wonder. So, add us on that. And also, don't forget to follow us on Instagram. It's, and um, I'll put that down below so you guys can go on follow us and see what we get up to and until next time good night